So we'll get to downloading the, the program now. So go to your favourite search engine, whether it be Google, or in my case it's Live Search from Microsoft, and I'll type in Sync Toy. It's two words, Sync Toy, and do a search for that. And it comes up straight away with what I want. So download details, Sync Toy version 1.4 from Microsoft. So I'll click on that. It will come up with the download page from Microsoft, so I'll click on download and then I'll save it to my desktop. So I'll go save and because I've already done it before, there's already a file called set up there. So I'll just save that and overwrite it. Zoom zoom and there it is. Now we can close our Internet Explorer. Now we will install our new program. So we double click set up and click run. And in my case, I've already installed it, so I'll just repair Sync Toy. Boom, 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 done. Now, to find and run Sync Toy, we click on Start, Programs, and then look down the list, and there it is in the list there. So I click on Sync Toy, and it starts up. Now, it starts up with a blank screen like this, so we need, we need to create a thing called a folder pair. And what it does is it as it, as it copies the data from your, in our case, my documents, because that's what we're going to choose, folder, to another folder on your portable hard drive. So we have to set up the link between the two. So first we go create new folder pair. Now the left folder is the source folder. That's where the data resides now. Okay? So I'll click on browse. And I'm going to do just the my documents in this, in this scenario. So I'll click OK, then I'll click Next, then it says the right hand folder, well that's got to be a folder on your portable hard drive, OK? So I'll go and Browse, and in our case the portable hard drive is F, so it's plugged in and connected and it's um, local drive F, so I'll click on F, and I can make a new folder if I would like to put it under a folder, all the data, or I can just put it straight on the F drive. So I'll just leave it on the F drive. So I'll go OK. Now I'll go Next. Now, you've got five options here to choose from. The best one, and the simplest one, is use Contribute. What that does is it takes the data and contributes it to the other drive. Um, so if you delete something from your My Documents folder, it doesn't get deleted on the backup drive when you do your backups. So, say for example, a good scenario is today you delete a file, next week you think, oh bugger, I need it back again, but you've done backups in between then, it doesn't get deleted off the backup drive. So you can always go to the backup drive and go back and get that particular file. Now, in some scenarios, this is no good, like for accounting software and stuff like that, it doesn't work very well, but for all your documents, and your photos, and your music, and anything else that's in the My Documents folder is really good, this system. Um, so I'll click Next, and we need to give it a name, so I'll call it Grants Backup, and then I'll click Finish, and that's set up the folder share. Now we can add more folder shares, that's just the My Documents folder. Say, for example, you have an accounting software on your computer or um, anything that's specific that is not under the My Documents folder that you would also like to back up because that's very useful. So what you do is you create a new folder pair and you browse. So you're going to find a folder on your C drive. So you go My Computer, Local Disk C. And in my case, I really haven't got anything that's, that's unusual, but some people do, they'll have like Bank Link, which is a BK5 folder, or you might have Cash Manager, which will say Cash, Cash Win 2000 or something, and you'll have these individual folders down here that you can choose from um, as your source, and then you create a folder pair across to the other drive for that. So when you do your backup, it does all your My Documents, and all your um, accounting software and stuff. So in my case, I'll just pick, say, Downloads, okay? So I'll 
So I'll go OK. And then I'll go next. And I'll find a, put a place where to put it. So I'll go My Computer F Drive. OK. And in this particular case, I'll make a folder called Downloads. So it matches what's on the C drive. OK. Next. And I'll go Contribute. And I'll go Next. And I'll go Grants Downloads. And that's it. Okay, so in the top left corner, which you might be able to see if I can zoom in a bit. Oh, wrong way. In the top left corner, it has Grants Backup and Grants Downloads. So they're two individual backup routines. Okay, so I'll just zoom back out a bit. Oh, there they are, there, top there. Right, so what we'll do now is to do our backup, down the bottom here, we can run. Now because I've highlighted just Grants Downloads, when I click Run, it'll just do Grants Downloads, okay? And it was that quick, because there's not a lot in there. So I'm going to close. To do Grants Backup of my documents, I click on that one, and I go Run. Or, I can choose up the top left here, all folder pairs, which means all your folder pairs that you've set up, if you click that, whoom, it does the whole lot at once. Okay? And it's really good. It's awesome software. It's really simple and easy to use. Now, the next trick is to get at the data that you backed up. And it's really simple. You just go into My Computer into your backup drive, which is our, our case is F, click on that, and you'll see there's a folder there that says Downloads, so I can click on that, and those two files are two files that were also over on the C drive, okay? So, and if, we, if I had done the full My Documents backup, you would see all your folders, you would see your documents, you'd see My Pictures, you'd see everything in here, and this is a good way to check to make sure that you have actually backed up everything, is to go in and check it and make sure that all the files are there. Just a very important point of interest. It is very, very important that you know the size of the information that you are trying to back up before you even start. Because if you try to put your My Documents folder onto a, a 2 gig or a 4 gig memory stick, it's just not going to fit. And you're going to have all sorts of problems. So, yeah, and another thing you should do is if you are running accounting software, most accounting programs have their own backup routine built into them. And you should always use that as well, such as QuickBooks or MyOB or CashBook Complete or Cash Manager. They've all got, if you go up to the file menu and click on that, you'll see in there backup. And you should always back up to your portable hard drive or you could probably, if you're a small company, fit the um, your actual backup from your accounting software onto a memory stick. But you should always use the program's backup routine as well as a backup to the backup. <laughs> because it's very easy to get it back from their backup routine. 